Hi y'all, I'm Redheaded Neighbor and welcome today to The Neighborhood. Welcome here to my channel. If this is your first time, I hope it's not your last. Today I am starting off my reactions with some Nightwish. Um, this band, they are, for me, they're difficult because they are rich in so many ways. This part of my brain is focusing on lyrics. This part of my brain is focusing on what's happening on stage. And then you have all of the music components going into it. There is a lot to take in. And this is something that is kind of new for me. So I am having a great time diving into this. And fans, um, you guys have really helped me a lot. So um, thank you for that. Now this one I have kind of gone off script with. Um, I was just looking through songs and um, the name of this caught my attention and it, I'm rather fascinated by that. So hope you guys are cool with it. If not, I'm sure you'll tell me about it. But I... I mean, you guys have told me there are no wrong songs, and I definitely plan on, um, of course, hitting the ones that were that you guys have told me are the like most important. And um, I think I'm just kind of going out of order a little. <laughs> Hopefully, that'll be all right. Still poisons my lungs An old oak sheltering me from the blue Sunbathing on its death rose and blues like to see the drummer some more uh, a little more close-up of that drummer playing this wow his sticks were flying y'all this is so dramatic it seems like every Nightwish song that I hear they just get more and more dramatic like the lyrics to this are crazy dramatic you know how like how rap is rhythm and poetry <laughs> this is like poetry from like old school days I mean wow songs the dead boy, dead boy song I don't know maybe maybe I'm wrong
my word, the power that they had just then when they came in with that. Oh, that just about knocked my socks off. If you watch this channel very much, you know that I really love it when a song has a transition in it. This, I feel like this very much adds some, uh, can't say depth, but a different texture to it. And I like that. I really enjoy when a band knows how and when, because this is, this is a long song, to add a little different texture, a little seasoning, if you will, and they're doing a good job. Right there, right there in the in the background, I could hear that guitar coming up just like a it's like a beam of light just sort of coming up in the background of it. Uh, that was very nice. It was subtle, but man, did it make a difference in that section. Okay, 
I literally have a hard time giving commentary on Nightwish because there's so much and I have to decipher what I've heard. And I'm not sure what I've just heard. The play between light and dark is so evident and they make sounds and music that either I've never heard before or two, I'm just not accustomed to hearing in that manner. You know what I mean? Like they are just, they're just different. Um, someone in the comments told me one time, they're like, you know, the U.S. has just not been exposed to this style of um, symphonic metal or just metal. And I mean, not like this, but I feel like the internet is changing it because if I'm hearing it, I'm always late to the party. If I'm hearing it, that means it's it's in pretty deep. But, hmm. Yeah, that was... I've never heard anything like that. Seen anything like that on stage. And the crowd was controlled chaos. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um... Talk to me in the comments below. Um, I'm trying to get caught up from over the weekend where I was quite sick, um, but I am going to, you know, get back with everyone, but it just takes me a little while. Um, but until next time, y'all, um, remember that you make me smile and I appreciate you very, very much. And yeah, what's next for Nightwish, huh? <laughs> what's next?